Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nine to be back again with yet another video. And today, I am taking a look at this. This is the latest addition to my collection. I actually literally just bought this uh, today. I'm actually kind of excited. This is something that I've wanted for quite a while. Um, haven't gotten it because it's, as you can tell, a little bit expensive. <laughs> uh, but I realized that I was, uh, you know, relatively... Uh, significantly under, <laughs> under my budget, so I went ahead and nabbed this. Um, this is, by the way, uh, if you're not familiar with this release, this is a 4K, uh, I think also as well as Blu-ray, release of the classic film, The Princess Bride. Um, this is a massive hit. Um, I first discovered this on Netflix. I think a lot of other people probably first discovered this on Netflix as well. So it was very very shocking to me that <laughs> they even decided to grace this with a criterion collection release let alone one that's very fancy um as we'll we'll see going through this here but anyways here's the front very 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 nice artwork the only criticism i'll have is the texture with this makes me feel like over time um it could easily get like scuffed or tipped away but i don't really move the discs that are in my collection very much so hopefully that doesn't really uh happen with this here we have the side. This is what the side looks like. I guess you could call it the spine or whatever. Going on to the back, we have uh, this thing here, which has like the typical Criterion Collection stuff with info, technical details here on the side, trademarks, uh, and also synopsis of uh, the film, as well as details about what makes this release special. However, this is loose. Take it off. And the back. This is as you wish. This, this is actually so cool. I was not expecting that. That's awesome. That's cool. That's cool. Very, very, oops, dropped it. Gotta be careful with this. Uh, very, very nice detail there. So opening this up, this is literally like a book. This is crazy. This is crazy. But unfortunately, because it has like an actual spine, I could definitely see this deteriorating. I've gotten for consideration releases that have uh, similar designs and their spines are also very fragile. This is cool. Look at all this art. This is insane. This was very, very undersold to me, actually. Hold on, what in the world? This is cool. There are so many pages in here, I cannot go through them all in one video. But this is great. This is great. This is basically like the story of like how they worked on this film, I believe. And this is like a considerable length. This is, yeah, 36 pages. 36 pages. So very, very cool. Fancy. But anyways, getting down to the discs themselves. Uh, this right here is the 4K disc. What the 4K disc looks like. And then we pop this out. Comes out very, very easily. In here we have the standard Blu-ray disc. So this is a very, very fancy release. You know, now, granted, maybe <laughs> all or most uh, Criterion Collection releases um, are like this. I don't really have that many Criterion Collection uh, releases yet, though. I have the 12 Angry Men Criterion Collection release, and I have the Wally Criterion Collection release. And I think that's the only, those are the only other two ones that I have. I really, really, really want to get the 4K um, release that they did. I think they did, uh, either they did or H24 did a really cool one of the Green Knight. I want to get that. I also want to get like under the, the Silver Lake or below the Silver Lake. That one wasn't really a fancy release, but I heard that movie is pretty good um, and underappreciated. But this right here is one that I've wanted. Uh, like of all the Criterion Collection releases, I think that of the ones I don't have, this might be at the top of that list. But not anymore because I have it now. So very cool. Very glad that I was able to get this. Also, shout out Barnes & Noble for selling this in brick-and-mortar stores. You know, I think we got to have more brick-and-mortar sellers. I'm not salty that there aren't as many brick-and-mortar sellers because I do buy a lot of things from, like, eBay and stuff. But when you find a brick-and-mortar physical media store or whatever, support it if you've got the money, but also shout them out, too, because uh, it's cool to let them know that they're appreciated. But anyways, that's pretty much all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in another video if you want to see another one of my videos.